Hey, good morning my friends, how are you today? So I've been doing a lot of work on my dioramas. So I've got another one here for the um, breakthrough to Corson. I'm trying to make some snow, but I'm not very successful at it yet because I'm not from a area that does snow. So I'm not finding it a natural thing for me to do, but I'm getting there. And I've just made a simple little base for it, for the panther. And he sinks into the ground a little bit, so he'll be sinking into the ground just a little bit. And he's got the, the mud there, so he's just stopped. And um, they'll have some fuel cans on the back with the crew. So this crew here, and you've got the commander there. See how he's shooting his gun? So what they'll be doing is they're looking out for their Heinkel resupply of their fuel. And he's about to shoot his gun to say, yeah, we're just here, drop it down here. And then they can get refueled and get back on the way to Corson. Um, and that's about it, the story of that. Uh, this one's a little bit better. Well, I, well, it's not the greatest, of course, I'll do better in the future, but um, it's got a little bit more of a story to it, I suppose. So this is 1944 in the summer on the Eastern Front. This is a rear area of German's um, defense in depth. So this would be a sort of just a communication trench um, and they'd be leading to artillery positions and all that kind of stuff. Um, so this T-70 is broken through to the rear and it's been taken out by a Panzer Jaeger crew that were dispersed through the defense in depth in 1944. They had those crews dispersed through the area in case anything like this got through. And he's driven up and um, they were on the other side of the trench and they've taken him out. Um, and then here, I've even started to put in the grass. So I've even sort of, you know, put it where it's squashed down, where the tracks went through. We've got this dead body here. So the Russian bloke got hit in the he was in the turret there so the driver's been killed instantly he was up in the turret and he lost his fingers so he lost some fingers and he got a shrapnel a piece of shrapnel just under the helmet there and he fell out of the tank so i'm gonna have some blood around there i reckon but i've got more figures i'm painting so i'm doing a lot of figure painting so well, I'm really liking it at the moment, it's a big challenge. So he's going to be um, up top, you know, looking at the, the damage. He's a part of the crew, but he's also going to be holding the ammunition. And then we've got this guy here. He's going to be sitting in the trench, I think. And that's Mini Arts Panzer, um, Panzer Grenadiers set. They're really nice for um, plastic figures. And then I've got another one. Same thing, the Panzer Jaeger set. Not oh, Panzer Jaeger, Panzer Grenadiers. Um, and I've started to do the camo on the top, but I've got to modulate it. Really nice figures by Mini Art uh, for plastic. It's a really good set, this Panzer Grenadier set. And so, yeah, just been working on them, and they're going to go in the trench. I'm hopefully going to build up this with ammunition and stuff, um, different things, and might even put some officers down there as well. And um, we've got the truck I've been building as well. It's come up really good. And this is St. Petersburg in 1939. I haven't got this glued on yet or anything. The back part. But it looks awesome. Really nice little truck by me now. You know, it's even right down to the um, really nice number plates. Really cool stuff. Yeah, that's what's going on at the moment. And I will speak to you again soon because I've got lots of cool things that I'm doing. But mainly figure painting. I'm really, really into this at the moment trying to become a, a good figure painter. All right, my friends, speak to you again very soon.